Hi, it's my time to shine. I hope everybody doing well. Me, marvelous. I am offering $40 general reads. Always a Sunday at 9 p.m. I am off Monday and Tuesdays. If you get a read on Sunday, you will get it on a Monday or Tuesday, but I won't be accepting reads on Monday or Tuesday. You will just go on an appointment book. I am doing multi-millionaire manifestations today, which is 120. It's a financial read. Some people will get a bonus that purchased money manifestations. I'm only taking up to 10 a day as far as my um, general reads. Emergency reads is 155. We'll get it within 2 to 12 hours. Full love readings is 155. I need up to 48 hours, usually done before that. My protection candles and hex removals is 105. Bottom line. Cut and ties is 300 and up. Devil run, run, devil run, which takes away all the energy of negativity or something that's holding on to you or fucking up your life. That takes me within four business days. It's a lot of work that I have to do amongst myself to do that. Other than that, any other spells, anything I'm not doing, I am doing bitch shut up spell. Three, four, a hundred plus the spell. I need the name of the people that's doing the bashing. And it goes inside of the bitch shut up spell. Um, this is done with black salt and a different type of spell, which is included. Three, four hundred. Um, uh, people ask me what, what does it do to make them shut up? Whatever the divine does to them in any type of way, I can't say. It could be anything. It could be something going on in their life where they can't even focus on you no more. Whatever Javon does to people that talk too much, I leave it in his hands, but I just do the spell. Okay, we're going to see what's the energy going on. Ace of Pentacles, pow, Capricorn energy, a new fucking beginning in your finances. This is the energy, this is the past energy, but as I say, the roles could reverse or however they go. This was what's coming out, a new beginning, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, they came straight out. I'm going to just take what came out. Wow. Lovely. The Emperor could be dealing with an Aries here, a boss figure, somebody that got everything together. You see what I'm saying? Present energy. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. The Nine of Pentacles. Pot out. Somebody that's comfortable, beautiful, and everything is in order. They could tame the animals. That's my energy. Capricorn energy is in this read. And Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy, near future. Make love, not war. The two of cups, a partnership, a relationship, a friendship is coming together. Wow. This weekend looked like somebody going to have somebody coming toward them. Mmm. Love it. We got the nine of wands reverse. Somebody is coming up out of a, a facility, um, a jail, an institution. Somebody is coming up out of somewhere. Um, but they're not going to be able to make something happen, though, is what I'm seeing here. I also see that the seven of swords is my snake card. Somebody is getting away with something in the past. Um, somebody was snaking somebody in the past. Uh, this also could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It fell over top of the emperor here. Um, somebody maybe was trying to snake somebody here. I also got the king of cups reversed. Somebody got a lot of bullshit that they trying to offer. Um, their emotions is all over. Their cup is dry. It's like bullshit here. Um, somebody trying to offer somebody. For the near future, we got the lovers um, reverse. Somebody is going to come up out of making a decision. Um, it's a choice that needs to be made here that somebody is not making. Could be dealing with a Gemini. The, the last card here we have. Wait a minute. Yeah. Is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is like I told y'all before. Is when somebody feels as though they bound up. They can't see. They can't move. They just stuck in a situation. Like that's what I'm seeing. Like the read came out good. But it went down and up. And then the overall energy is the sun. The happiest card of the fucking deck. You could be dealing with a Leo here. That's the energy I'm seeing. Let me see if I get an overall card here. Yeah. I see somebody going to be trying some shit. But they're not going to be able to make something happen. 
What is the overall energy for this read at this time? What's the overall energy for this reading at this time? Okay, the one that came, I'm going to take out. Victory. Bottom fucking line. <laughs> Somebody is going to have a victory this, this weekend and something. It could be a new partnership, friendship, relationship, but it's a victory here. Yeah, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. I like this energy here. Yes, indeed. Fucking victory. What more else to say? I'm going to go ahead and get some oracles to see what's going on. But yeah, somebody getting a victory in some type of situation this weekend. She or he is a bum. Yeah, because I did see somebody in your reading that's trying to make something happen, but that's not going to fly. What is the energy surrounding this reading at this time? I think you should just keep your eye on whatever prize you already on. Someone using you. Yeah, somebody may be trying to use you or is using you. You may not realize it. They gay is why. Take what resonates with the rest. Laugh now, cry later. I feel somebody will be crying. Believe none of what you hear. Yeah, don't believe that shit. Kiss and tell. Somebody may tell your business. Or if you mess with somebody, they're going to kiss and tell. Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles is in the building. I've seen this double whammy. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. This is a telling a Capricorn what could be going on this weekend. Lying about money. You may be dealing with somebody that act like something they're not. And then you got the Ten of Cups. Happiness. Like, bottom fucking line. Like, somebody is going to be happy as hell this weekend. Is what I'm seeing here. Yes, indeed. Peace, light, and blessings.